Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So the X Defiant server test is currently live and the game has been a lot of fun, but the game also has a ton of problems. So let's talk about it. First of all, I heard a lot of people online say that X Defiant is basically just a mashup of different games. You can see it with like the Call of Duty Gunsmith system they have implemented for their weapon customization. All the heroes is basically just Black Ops 4, but in the Ubisoft style. And a lot of people have said that there's basically nothing unique about this game, what makes it a bit boring to play and here i have to disagree i think if a game just copies other games but is still fun to play then there is no reason to like go and try do something unique i mean we can look at battlebit on steam basically the game just copied battlefield basically just did a few changes but nothing where a normal person would say hey it's so much different than battlefield and the game was just super fun so a lot of people played it the only problem was that the devs didn't really listen to the community and content updates were super slow so the game basically died out i hope x defined doesn't have the problem since ubisoft is backing it but yeah i just wanted to say this shortly but now let's talk about the problems but still i have to say the game is super fun i'm still super hyped for the release it is super fun to play something that isn't like sbmm infected or plays like battlefield that just feels super bad to play and you just want to quit where you can actually just play a game have have fun have a good time but sadly there are a lot of things that keep this game down from being super fun to play and i also know the current build we are playing is hopefully not the build they are currently working on or the live build we will get because if it's really close to the live build and it's the same situation as it was with Battlefield 2042 where they basically said oh yeah the beta is a few months old the live build is so much better and then we got the game and it's basically just the beta again um yeah i hope this doesn't happen but what are the problems well first i will split the problems into two parts first of all will be issues that they are probably fixing because they just happen to do with the current build of the game that stuff like the hit rack, the netcode, the general connection to the server. And then I will talk about balance because the balance in this game is all over the place. And then in the last spot, I will talk about something where I'm not really sure if it's a balance thing slash it's intentional or maybe they made some programming errors. So this will be the last part. But yeah, first let's start with probably the biggest problem the game currently faces. The hit rack in this game. The hit rack in this game is so bad, it's unbelievable. Most of the gunfights you are having take ages because half of your bullets don't wreck. I have situations where I'm shooting somebody with a sniper rifle, I'm getting a hit marker and they are still full HP. I'll probably show the clip in the background currently if I didn't delete the file. And it's super unfun to play and it feels very bad because in most games you can literally say, even in Battlefield 2042, this gun needs four bullets to kill on this range. I shot my four bullets, I'm pretty sure this guy is dead and like in 90% of the cases it's true and you can swap off after shooting four bullets and focus on the next guy. Here in this game you can't do it. Sometimes when everything works works the enemies are dropping super fast you can target switch pretty easily and on the other side you are sometimes standing there needing like 15 16 shots just to kill somebody because half of them don't register and some of the problems you also sometimes have is where you actually get a hit marker but the bullets aren't registering what is criminal imagine you tell your players yes you hit him like four times and then you see his health bar and you only did like 15 damage so only one bullet registered it's super broken currently and i think that's one of the biggest reasons why the game currently is not that fun because if you have a round where the hit registration is all over the place yeah good luck playing this game it feels super unsatisfying you just want to quit most of the time but i also have to say i feel like the hit registration is usually appearing on guns that fire a lot faster i actually swapped to the ak recently and since the gun is firing a lot slower than most of the guns i was using before the gun feels a lot more consistent and i actually have a lot more fun currently playing the ak than i have with other guns because on our guns i just feel like because of the high fire rate bullets are just not connecting or registering or in the ak because it's more like a very slow firing gun i feel like most of my bullets just connect of course i still have situations where i'm like this guy should be dead i hit most of my shots and he just isn't but with the ak the game at least feels a lot more playable than with the other guns another issue that the game currently is facing is that you die a lot around corners I I personally didn't experience a lot of that actually but i heard online from other youtubers and i saw it on twitter that people are constantly complaining about it so it seems like there's a problem and the last connection problem i know it's a server test but the server connections are super bad in the top left on the screen you have like a connection symbol and most of the time when i play it it's either yellow or it's red for me and there's no reason for my connection to be this bad when every other game i have a ping of like 9 milliseconds or 10 milliseconds so my internet is 
strong enough, especially for a game like this, but I still get connection problems. It's just a joke, but hopefully all of those things will be balanced out when the game launches, because I can tell you right now, if they launch the game in the state that it currently is, at least when it comes to like connection stuff, the player base will die out in like a week, maybe in two weeks, because nobody wants to play a game where you die around corners and where your bullets are just not registering. But yeah, those are issues I hope they fix. Now let's get into some balance problems. First of all, let's start with the specialists or heroes, whatever you want to call them, but I'm so tired of them, especially when the heroes, or I just call it specialists, when the specialists are so poor balanced, there are so many abilities in the game that are just cancer to go against and even if they have a counter, they are still not fun. The perfect example I probably showed in the, in the background is the wall where you and your team can shoot through but the enemy can't. In this gunfight, the enemy should have killed me 10 times but he lost because I just pressed the button of my keyboard and stood off the other side of the wall. This is super poor balancing because basically, especially with how the maps are laid out, they are usually 3 lane maps like Call of Duty has them or had them back in the day and basically the game is, oh there's somebody with a wall, oh he plays the wall. Now I can't use one of the three lanes because the amount of time it takes you to actually shoot the shield down if you don't have an EMP grenade to counter it takes so long that you are just dead and the enemy on the other side he doesn't even need to have good aim because you can't just hit him and it's super unfun to go against. Another problem is the invisibility in this game. Like in the older playtests I played, it actually felt like you could bot the invisibility fairly good. Of course, sometimes when you had like fierce gunfights and stuff and the adrenaline were pumping, you sometimes just missed somebody in cloak. But this time around, I feel like even if you are 100% focused, it's super hard to see the cloak. So either they buff the cloak or I don't know what's going on. Next up, the wall hacks. Also super stupid. Why would you give somebody wall hacks when they can just or with just the press of a button? Makes absolutely no sense. And from all the other abilities, I can also show you a clip I posted on Twitter. The from like the Libertads is super broken. Why is it healing so much? I can, I mean, you can see it in the background. I'm literally not dying and I'm just sliding all over the place while reloading. It's super fun to play, but it's probably cancer to play against if I were one of the enemies that shot me there. I would probably just have quit the game and uninstalled it after seeing this. So honestly, they either need to tone down the abilities, balance them a bit more, or what I would love to see is them just put in a mode where the abilities are just not usable and it's just poor gunplay. And then I would love to, you know, make them have like some feedback from the community where the community can basically play this mode in like another weekend test session and it just disable all the abilities for a weekend. And then after the weekend is over, people get like surveys and they just get the opinion of the community. Did you enjoy it more? What felt better? Did it feel worse? And stuff like this and then hopefully when the game launches they either rebalance all the stuff or they actually make a game mode where you don't have abilities as long as like for casual i think at least for the rank mode abilities are not that much of a problem because then you just have to play a bit more in a team so you don't get killed by somebody that just goes invisible and stuff like this so for ranked i think it's fine but i think for pub lobbies you should have the option to play a mode without the abilities or balance the abilities properly now another problem with this game is the gun balance especially the balance between ARs and SMGs. I have a feeling that I go for this game as a slightly slower TTK than in every other game. I think for most guns in this game take at least like 5 bullets to kill you, especially when some characters have 120 health instead of 100. TTK and gunfights usually take a bit longer, but I personally really enjoy. But I think they try to actually force gun rolls a bit too much in this game. On Battlefield for example, you have the problem that even with an SMG, the damage usually is high enough that you can relatively quickly kill people even on range. And here in the game it's the absolute opposite. If you are not super close to the enemy, SMGs are basically useless. I don't know if I still have a clip, but I was shooting at a guy on range and I did like 10 damage with my MP5. 10 fucking damage with an SMG on range. This means I need to hit at least like 10 bullets to kill this guy. Or 12 if he has 120 HP. And I know in the clip my aim isn't that good, but it doesn't change the fact that I would need to land 10 or 12 bullets to kill. That's the same amount of bullets you actually need in Warzone to kill a fully plated player with some SMGs. So I'm not really sure if that really is the way to go, especially also with how good ARs are in close range. I personally, for my playtest, I didn't see 
reason to ever use an SMG. Maybe the SMP7 sometimes if the really is really really close quarters but overall it's not worth it. As for the other guns in the game I don't really think they are neither super strong or super weak. As for LMGs I have a feeling they are kind of like the ARs where they are overall better than the rest. And then as for shotguns since I haven't seen many people play shotguns I think shotguns are not that good what I personally don't have a problem with. A game where shotguns are not dominant is usually very fun especially close quarters. As for DMRs they are I would not say really that overpowered but also not really weak you can i think the sky age variant or whatever it's called in a game can actually two tap you what gives it a really fast ttk but since i'm not personally a dmr fan i haven't tested the gun yet and as for sniper rifles i personally like them but i like the heavier sniper rifle a bit more than the faster one but that's just me and the only other problem i personally have is with pistols i know they are backup guns but especially like the desert eagle and the 44 magnum i'm pretty sure both of them cannot one tap you in the head when you have full hp doesn't matter if you're 100 hp or 120 hp and i think that's a bit weak i think with the deagle you do only 66 damage to the head and for the gun that shoots slower and where you need a lot of accuracy to be efficient with it i think they should add at least a distance of like five to seven meters where you can actually one tap people in the head but that's just my opinion so that's all the balance stuff out of the way let's go over to the last point where i'm not sure if it's uh balance thing or if it's just a programming thing but that's first of all the movement for some reason in this playtest the movement feels super sluggish i can't really put my finger on it what it is but compared to the other playtests i played the movement this time around feels the worst it has ever been and i don't know what it is it's just running around the map feels really bad but that's okay because for some reason the movement is still fast and also somewhat fluent but it just feels wrong i don't know how to describe it like your character does what he's supposed to do when you press the keys but it still somehow feels off to a certain point so so i can't quite put my finger on it but it just feels off what's even worse in this game is aiming and especially aiming while strafing so as for aiming one of the problems i have is your sensitivity slider for some reason even though we are in 2024 i can only change my sensitivity by one so i can go from 15 to 16 or from 15 to 14 but i can't go from 15 to 15.5 or 15.25 or down to 14.75 what is really bad because i currently have the problem when i play on 15 sensitivity it's a bit faster than what i like to play so i need to concentrate a lot more when aiming and if i go down to 14 i have the problem where it's a bit slower so sometimes i'm not flicking far enough because the sensitivity is just too slow the idea sensitivity for me in this game would probably be somewhere between 14.5 and 14.6 but since i can only go up and down by one this isn't happening i hope they change it for launch but i don't have any high hopes and then now for ads strafing if i'm not mistaken your point of aim is actually not bound to the center of your screen what this basically means is that especially when you are ad strafing in a gunfight your reticle is swapping left to right all the time what makes it really hard to track people and so in this game i have a feeling you need to spec a lot more into recoil control because if you don't do this and you're strafing in a gunfight your scope is just all over the place and i think this makes for a really unfun gunfight so now it just feels off call of duty has the same problem but they are currently trying to improve this with every like season update but especially an arcade shooter like x defiant i don't understand why they are doing this and it's not like this is just an mk problem where only mnk players feel this and have a problem with this i have seen on twitter a lot of controller players good controller players also complain about this then every time when they're adsing and they're strafing that it feels super weird and it's really hard for them to track the enemy because the scope is just going all over the place and not staying center to the screen middle and I hope this is not a design decision from them. I hope it's a mistake on their part and this will be fixed. Because we are playing an arcade shooter and not a realistic shooter game. If this were like a realistic tactical shooter, I would be totally fine with this. But since it's a fast paced arcade game, I don't think this should be the way to go or the way to implement aiming. Because I have to say it, mouse and keyboard in this game feels actually quite bad and i'm a better fit 2042 player so i already know what bad inputs feel like but i would say in x defined it feels even worse at least in X Defiant, my mouse isn't suddenly turning off like it is in Battlefield 2042. But the overall experience, at least in this play session or in this playtest, feels 
horrible but yeah those were basically all the problems i have with the game currently most of them i'll be honest i think they can fix almost like 95 percent of those if the movement and aiming stuff really is just an error on their part or something they haven't really ironed out yet and it's not intentional i'm also pretty confident they can just edge it the balance stuff uh, should be super easy to do the net code and networking stuff i also think they will fix this yeah i would really love to see how far the live build actually is of the game currently because if the live build is still this close to like the beta build we are currently playing i don't really have high hopes for the game because the game is in development for such a long time already and when they still don't make any progress because let's be fair the other few playtests already played the same as this does but for some reason this feels a bit worse than the others and so i would actually not be surprised if they come out in like a year from now and say oh yeah xdefined is basically cancelled but that's a whole different topic and oh yeah before i forget it the last thing i also have problems with is with sound in this game not because like the weapons sound bad or anything but footstep audio i'm not a big fan of really loud footsteps like they currently have in call of duty where without that silence people can basically hear you cross the map but in xdefined i have a feeling most of the time the enemies just don't make any footsteps i have so many situations where i'm just playing normally and somebody is coming up behind me and the first time i hear footsteps from them is when they are basically in hugging range and are shooting at me most of the time you just literally can't hear the enemy running and also it is very inconsistent because there are rounds where you can hear them clearly but there are so many more rounds where this just isn't the case and in those rounds it's just horrible because you cannot really play you just have to basically pre-aim everything and turn around all the time because well there could be an enemy behind you or coming next to you and you just can't hear it but yeah those are my problems in general now i would like to hear from you guys how do you find x defiant how was the playtest for you are you still interested in the game or have you played so many playtests and you're basically saying ah the game isn't coming out before 2025 and until then i have lost all interest i had in this game let me know down in the comments below as always thank you so much for watching until the end if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for future content and with this i will see you in the next one